Hi everyone, David here from DavidDemayAudio.com and in this video I'll be doing a review of the FMOD course by the School of Video Game Audio. So for those who may not know, uh, the School of Video Game Audio is basically an online school that offers a variety of courses. I think they have four or five courses available at the time of shooting this. And uh, I took uh, the FMOD course recently, just finished it a few weeks ago. And so this is kind of like my review, my experience, uh, what I thought the course did well, uh, what it could improve on, and we'll kind of touch on all of those things uh, in this video. All right, so what exactly is the FMOT course? So the course is, uh, like I said, it's an online course. It's all online. Uh, it's on the Moodle platform, on Moodle.com, which is an education platform that can host um, you know, online content and stuff like that. So you basically you get a user account, login, and then uh, you get access to all the articles and everything in the uh, course. Uh, so for the course, uh, uh, there is a drip content, which means that your content, you don't have access to the entire course uh, as soon as you buy, purchase the course. Uh, the contest is released like one week at a time. So so when you first start, you have something like uh, two weeks available uh, to you uh, that you can go through. And then uh, once those two weeks are done, then on the Sunday, I think it is, or the Monday morning, something like that, uh, the next week is released and available. And then you can go through it for that week and so on and so on until the course is done. Uh, also about the course, uh, like I said, it's all online. There's it's, It takes about 10 to 20 hours to complete, or at least that's what the School of Video Game Audio suggests. And uh, that this, uh, the time that you should put aside, so 10 to 20 hours which I found is kind of, uh, it's quite accurate. That's about as much as I put in, uh, 10 to 20 hours a week. Some weeks it was a bit more, some weeks it was a bit less. It just depends on the, uh, you know, how you're spreading out your your workload and how much work you're putting in. Uh, like I put, a, I put in personally a lot of work at the beginning and then a lot of work at the end. So it's kind of in the middle, there was a bit less. Um, like I was able to kind of be a bit more lax in the middle. So the course is all online and it offers a variety of articles, uh, videos, and you're also, you'll have quizzes uh, that you'll have available. Uh, through the Moodle platform, you also have uh, various sections. So you have a section where you can talk one-on-one -on -one with the instructor, um, the section where you can see the participants and talk to the participants if you wanted to. I never really did that. I don't, I'm not aware that anybody really commented or talked in, in there, but it was a place where you could. And um, yeah, you also have a schedule so you can see um, your schedule, uh, the dates uh, when you have assignments uh, set uh, like coming up that you have to be done. And yeah, so the course is eight weeks. And then once those eight weeks are done, you're basically done the course. So you don't have access to the course anymore. So you have to be done within those eight weeks. You can, of course, extend that time for an extra month uh, for a certain price. I think it's around 75 or $100 Canadian, I think, at the time of shooting this. So there is that option if you do need that extra time to complete the course. All right, so the course is taught by a letter Paul, who is a sound designer, a veteran kind of sound designer. He's been, he worked at, uh, in Vancouver at EA Games uh, back in the, I think it was 90s. He worked on stuff like NBA Live, uh, Need for Speed, if I'm not mistaken, and a few other games. So, he, you know, he's had experience in AAA games. And uh, so, yeah, so he, he's kind of a very ve veteran in that scene, sorry. And uh, so he's the instructor, which is great because then you're, you're working with somebody who can give you, you know, direct feedback on your work, on your assignments. And if you ever have any questions, you know, you can go and talk to him directly. And of course, he has experience and knowledge. So he, he it was great because he was um, able to get back and give uh, const uh, constructive criticism and, and critique of, of the work uh, that you do. Um, at least that's what I found for, my, for myself. So along with uh, Letter Paul, there's also an assistant uh, instructor. Uh, at the time, for me, it was uh, Viviana Caro, uh, who is currently, or at the time of the king, uh, at the time of taking the course, she was, uh, a, I think, is a senior audio artist at EA Games in Vancouver. So it was nice to have somebody who's actually working in the game industries and actually reviewing your work and and giving you kind of feedback and and getting back to you on the assignments that you submit. All right, so now I'd like to talk about uh, kind of what I thought the course did really well, uh, what I enjoyed about it, and then also uh, go into some details about what I thought it could do better and it could be changed. So uh, what did the course do well? So for one, um, it was really nice to have uh, direct feedback from the instructors. Was, um, whenever I message uh, Leonard Paul, you mean you can ask him kind of pretty much any question, uh, especially about video games, video game audio, uh, jobs, whatever it is, and you know he'll get back to you pretty much right away the day of, at least he did for me, Maybe it's because I'm close to him, like I live in Canada. I'm a, there's a three hour time difference, but still, um, like he he was always able to get back to me within the day. If not, it was it was within like 24 hours. So a great response time. Uh, always getting uh, you know good information from him, which was really nice. So another thing that was great about this course is that you're basically diving into um, 
like detailed content about FMOD. So yes, there's a lot of content you can find online about FMOD. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube and whatever else. But with this course, it was nice because you have a lot of different uh, sources of material all organized together about FMOD. So it's it, like part of the course, it was not just like reading or watching FMOD tutorials on YouTube that was there. Then there's also like articles. And then he also introduced um, some elements of sound design and some articles and YouTube videos about sound design to help you kind of create uh, the demo reel for uh, that's part of the course. And this leads to my next point, which is that um, th with this course, when you're taking the course, the kind of the main purpose of the course is that uh, by the end of it, you have a demo reel that you can show uh, uh, to demonstrate kind of your knowledge and your experience with FMOD. So that's really why you would want to take this course is because at the end, uh, yeah, you have a demo reel you can show to potential employers, studios, whatever uh, job applications you're doing to show like, here's what I can do with FMOD, uh, look at my sounds, look at my implementation, and you have that all done and you can, have it, you can post it on your website and, and like I said, for job applications and whatnot. All right, and the lastly, the, la um, the other thing that I, th I really liked about this course is that uh, it really introduced me to new content and new material, new communities that were uh, out there in the sound design kind of world, I guess, if you will. So um, for example, specifically uh, for me, like I had never heard of uh, Real Talk, which is a, uh, a live stream that uh, these guys in Vancouver do uh, once a week on uh, Thursday nights, if I'm not mistaken, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. EST. And basically they're, what they do is people will submit their, their video game demo reels for them to review and critique and to help them improve, see what they can change, see what they can work on, basically to help them get a job and work in the video game industry. So that was one of the things that I, I learned as part of the course that I was introduced to that I had never heard of before. And I was really, really happy about that because uh, I just learned so much just from watching that real talk. And then I've gone back and like watched a lot of their YouTube videos and I've even joined some of their live streams now. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just like you get introduced to a lot of different content, which is really nice. Um, especially if you don't really know where to look or how to look, um, this, the, the course really kind of introduces you to various different material. All right, so just to recap on the pros, you know, you get direct feedback on your assignments, direct feedback on your work, and you can ask pretty much any questions to like the instructors who are experienced. Um, you have organized materials uh, all about FMOD. And, you know, I, I found I, re I was really introduced to a lot of do different communities and places to find uh, information uh, about FMOD and sound design. So um, those were the three big things that kind of stood out to me about this course that were really great. All right, so let's talk about some of the things that I thought the course could improve on. So for one, I really wanted more material from Leonard Paul himself, the instructor, and him teaching the, us basically how to do the assignments or about FMOD or whatever it was that the lesson was about. So a lot of the materials, if not most, or all of the material in the course is all like free material. It's just organized together um, to create uh, kind of progressive uh, steps towards building your demo reel. Uh, and that's fine, that's great, uh, but it'd just be nice to have that kind of like that personalized teaching as part of the course instead of just like, um, for example, like some lessons only have like pictures and text, which is fine, like that works, but it'd be really nice if he could like um, make, create his own video uh, with him talking and him showing whatever it is that the lesson is about. So that that was kind of something that I, I would really like to see a, a lot more of, especially for a course like this, um, especially for the price point of the course. Uh, I thought there could have been a lot more of that. All right, another uh, thing I thought the course could improve on or maybe do a bit more of is that for the F mod, uh, like demo reel specifically, uh, like a lot of it was just replacing sounds out of whatever game that it is that you pick to to do the demo reel for. So um, let's say you pick whatever game you pick, um, that game already is already like published and available to the public for free. So what you do is you download it and then you basically replace the sounds that are in the FMOD project with your own sounds. So you're not really building the project from scratch. And that is something I would have liked to do more because I think you get more experience, more knowledge, more, uh, yeah, you just have more hands-on experience doing it that way. If you're starting from scratch, then just, you know, here's a completed project, just put in your sounds and take out the other sounds. Like it, it's, it's not as in-depth or as, um, yeah, I guess it's just not as deep of an experience doing it that way. Um, like it still worked fine. You still have to like balance out your projects, uh, create your sounds, balance out and mix your sound effects so that it plays well in the game. Uh, it's just not the same as starting it from scratch and, and building it from scratch and having that experience to know what it would be like to work from scratch. With that said though, um, the course like does have assignments. I think there's two or three assignments where you do have to build set, like uh, start from scratch. So basically you'd start a new FMOD project from scratch and then it'd be like, you know, create these footsteps and then, but then there'd be like, um, additional uh, assignments, like uh, have them like go from left to right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, or whatever it is. Um, 
and then you have to play it so that every time you play, it's choosing a different footstep. So you do have different assignments like that where you are starting from scratch. It's just, it would have been nice to either start the project from scratch and build it out. Though I do understand that that would probably take a lot more time to, 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 uh, to finish the course if we were doing that that way, or just have more uh, small kind of projects or uh, built out uh, mini projects, I guess, if you will, uh, where you're starting from scratch and you're kind of implementing the sounds. So you have a bit more of an idea of what it would be like to start from scratch rather than just, um, you know, footsteps, like have other things like maybe, I don't know, ambiences or whatever else. Um, I should also say though, that uh, I know there are additional uh, add-ons that you can do to the course. So for example, you could do music and then so you'd have extra lessons where you could have uh, music and implement music so that would be something that might interest you i didn't do that but um yeah that'd be something else that you could do that could expand kind of your experience with fmod all right so some minor details here and these are really kind of nitpicky is um uh one is a lot of the videos if not all the videos they didn't have the option to uh, change the speed, the playback speed of the video. So a lot of the times, if it's like a really long video, I don't like watching it at regular speed because it's just, I just find it's a waste of my time, especially if it's like something like 20 minutes or more. Like if I'm just watching it at 20, uh, at regular speed, that's 20 minutes of my time when I could be watching it at 1.5, 1.75 or two times the speed and then cut my time in half, right? So uh, yeah, none of the videos really had that uh, option, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but again, there's just a minor detail. There wasn't too many of those videos, because uh, a lot of them were on YouTube, but for the ones that did, it was just annoying. Uh, another thing, another, again, minor thing is like some of the pages that you loaded that had videos, the video would like autoplay, which was really annoying, especially when it had volume. Uh, but yeah, again, minor thing. Uh, the last thing I will say about uh, the course or what I think it can improve on is um, the, the fact that it's only a two month access to the course. Um, so for the price point that you're paying for the course, which I think at this point of shooting, I think it's around 700 Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I mean, for that price point of a course, you should really have it lifetime access. Um, so I, I do understand why he would, why Leonard Paul would do, you know, a two month course, <laughs> have a two month course. Cause you can, uh, you can go through it. It pushes you to really finish on time and to have it done uh, within a certain amount of time. And if you open it up to a lifetime, you know, most of the people will probably never finish. So that is a good thing in that sense. But at the same time, like if I ever want to go back and like revisit some of the topics or like, oh, how did we do that again? Or what was that thing that I learned about I, or whatever it is, like I can't even go back and, and find it anymore because I don't have access to it anymore. It's been revo removed from my Moodle account. All right. So what I would suggest instead is that you would have lifetime access to the course itself so you can always go back and revisit it revisit whatever lessons but uh what you wouldn't have access to maybe is like the access to leonard paul himself so for leonard paul and to talk to him uh, and to get feedback on assignments and to ask questions or whatever else that maybe would be like a two-month uh period and if you want to have more then you pay an extra whatever fee right so for that two months two months period of time, uh, you have to basically complete your course so that you can get feedback, uh, ask questions, and yeah, basically go through the whole course. And then if, if for whatever reason you don't finish or you wanna go back and improve it, or you wanna go back and find out whatever whatever it is that you learned about and, or remember, you remember something but you couldn't remember exactly where to find it, whatever it is, like you can go back into the course and find that, right? So I don't, for the price, especially for the price point of the course, um, uh, like I said, at 700 Canadian, I think it's at, at the time of shooting this video. I, I don't think it's really, um, yeah, I, I really find it like uh, not good that it's it's not a lifetime access. It really should be a lifetime access for the price that you're paying for this course. All right, so who is this course for or not for? So after, now that I've gone through the course, I would say, you know, uh, if you've already done a project or worked on FMOD before, uh, whether that's like in school or if you've already worked on a video game and you can, and you have the experience like building a, a project from scratch or even a few um, assets from scratch or you've, or, or you're able to, you know, create, or, or you, you've even like created a whole video game and worked on a video game with FMOD, you probably don't want to take this course. It's probably a waste of money because uh, everything that you will learn, you've probably already learned. Um, yeah, if you've never done FMOD, you, you you probably, it would not hurt to take this course because you're gonna learn a lot and you're gonna have feedback uh, from Leonard Paul, from the instructor. So uh, yeah, so if, if you've never taken FMOD, uh, uh, if you really wanna learn uh, about FMOD, how, to, how it works, how to implement sounds, 
and um, you want to get feedback on your assignments, then this is a great course to take, especially because a lot of uh, employers, studios, they want to know that you have experience with FMOD. They want to see uh, your work. They want to see a demo reel. Uh, like a lot of players, employers ask for that. So if you want to be able to show that and have that experience, then this is a great course that you can uh, take to be able to show that. And uh, the fact that it's only two months long um, is, is a great uh, option and opportunity for those who want to do that. So what was my experience like with the course? Um, I personally, I had, uh, I'd had never really had any experience with FMOD or very little. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to take it so that I could basically learn from the ground up how it works and, and just get experience with it and have a demo reel. Um, yeah. Uh, and also, like I said, like, uh, a lot of places that I've been looking at just for work ask for, uh, 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 some sort of demo reel to show or at least have experience with it. So now that I've gone through this course, not only do I have experience with it, I can actually show what I've done and, and what I can do with uh, FMOD, which is great. Um, for me, I found that uh, the amount of time that I had to work on the course was pretty good. I think it could be quite a lot uh, if you don't put the time aside for it, like the 10 to 20 hours a week. Uh, for me personally, like most of the time that I did spend, it was about two hours a day. And most of it was either at night you know, or early in the morning, uh, you know, in between work hours or on weekends. So if you have that time and you have that space where you can do that, um, that's great. If you don't, then you probably want to like figure out a schedule or something where you can do it. But apart from that, uh, my experience was a good experience. I really enjoyed having that feedback from Leonard Paul and being able to go through the course. And like I said uh, before, uh, learn about these new communities and news, uh, new sources of to learn about sound design and FMOD. All right, so hopefully um, you have a bit more of an idea of, of what this course is, um, who it's for, not for, what it can do, what it'll do for you. Um, if you want to learn more information, um, you can go to the School of Video Game Audio's website. Uh, I think it's something like schoolofvideogameaudio.com. I'll put a link in the, in the description uh, so that you guys can have a look if you want to learn more pricing and whatever else they offer. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And if not, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.